Hello everyone, this is Puka, and welcome to another game I played on the Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. In this game, we'll be using a deck that's been around for about a year now, and that will be a Darkrai Hydreigon deck. So the overall strategy of the deck, get your Stage 2 Hydreigon into play, use that Dark Trance ability, which allows you to move Dark Energy around on your field however you want, as often as you want, from whichever Pokemon you want. Uh, now this can be any darkness energy, basic dark energy, blend energy, uh, prism energy. If it's on basic Pokemon, you can move them all. And that is what uh, we're going to be trying to take advantage of in combination with Darkrai EX and some other attackers as well. Going up against a player named Demaster34, who I played against uh, quite frequently, actually, on the Pokemon TCG Online. So we should get another good game here. Up against a Team Plasma deck. So this is... By far one of the most popular decks in the format right now. And uh-oh. There's the Burbank City Gym. The Hypnotoxic Laser. If he can do 30 damage to me, I lose the game. Because I only have 60 HP on that Dino. But oof. Alright, there's that Plasma Energy on the Deoxys. So he cannot hurt me. Alrighty then. Let's see what we can do here. Um, I do have a Level Ball. And we can go ahead... And search for a Pokemon with 70 HP or less. In this situation, since my Dino most likely is going to be knocked out, um, I'll probably grab a second one. Because my hand looks pretty darn good, right? Uh, Rare Candy, High Dragon. Uh, if I had gone first, this would be awesome. Or, uh, if they implement the new rules soon, he wouldn't have been able... Well, actually this wouldn't have changed much. He wasn't able to attack, but I wouldn't have been scared of losing. Um, but yeah, for those who don't know, the rules are changing starting November 8th. You cannot attack anymore if you go first. So that will be a nice change of pace. But back to this game, I am going to Skyla for a Tropical Beach. Um, we'll attach the Blend Energy to my bench Dino, and this will do two things. First of all, it'll allow me to draw more cards. Second of all, it kicks away his Burbank City Gym, so my Dino... Uh, in the active spot, does not get knocked out. So, two positive things there. Uh, I am open to a loss right here, though. If he is able to get a Plasma Curum into play, you see that Skyla, um, that's going to make his win condition almost impossible. But uh, if we were to see a Plasma Curum, and then if he were able to power that up and use Frost Spear, catcher out my Dino, and then somehow do 60 to the active, and then knock out the dino that currently has 40 damage on it. That would be on the bench. He could knock out both at once, and I would lose the game. But it seems pretty impossible with how low his hand size is. So, not very worried about that. Um, seems like I will survive. Uh, I will make a video about the rule changes coming up pretty soon. But uh, for those who don't know, uh, if you go first, you will no longer be able to attack. And also, Pokemon Catcher will now be a coin flip. So it'll turn into the old card Pokemon Reversal. No instant gusting effect anymore. Those are the two big rule changes that will be happening with the release of X and Y. Uh, those will go into effect on November 8th. So exciting times for the Pokemon TCG. Okay, so back to this game. He does catch her out my bench dino with the blend on it. Kind of annoying. Takes my energy out of play. Um, uses Helix Force to knock it out. But now I get this Rare Candy High Dragon turn two. Things are looking okay. And we'll see where we can go from here. Uh, I do have Sableye. We can put that Darkrai EX down. Um, and then I can Ultra Ball. Now this will be... Um, I'm trying to decide what I want to get rid of. I'll get rid of Shaman EX, first of all. Since I probably won't need that this game. Um, and I, I really don't want to put it down. It's a, a very big liability. 110 HP EX Pokemon. But it does... Pack a punch at the end of the game, and you can use it with the blend energy that I currently have on the active High Dragon, so that's why it's in the deck. It's a questionable card to be playing, but uh, I do like it. Provides for some uh, fun games sometimes, you know, get some big revenge blasts to come back in games. Anyway, I'm going to go for the Virizian EX. One of the reasons why Darkrai High Dragon uh, has become somewhat viable again is because of Virizian EX. Uh, it stops special conditions if you have a grass energy on your Pokemon. And with this blend energy, it provides grass energy. And um, 
you know, shuts off. The big one is Hypnotoxic Laser. That is pretty awesome. So, um, Verizon EX, obviously a very good card and uh, deserves a spot in this deck. But unfortunately for me, I have lost two of my blend energy already. So if I lose this third one, I'm going to be in some trouble. I may be open up to that Hypnotoxic Laser once again. Um, I decided that turn to Tropical Beach once again, fill my hand up to 7 instead of using Sableye's Junk Hunt because, well, there really wasn't anything worth getting in my discard pile, so I'd rather draw until I have 7 cards. And um, as you can see, my hand did not get any better. <laughs> um, I'm sitting on 2 High Dragon, 2 Dark Patch, Max Potion, a Catcher, and a Sableye. No, this is uh, really not very good. Um, I don't have any energy to work with. There are no energy in my discard pile. So I cannot use Dark Patch to power up any of my Pokemon. And the thing about this deck is it does have a bit of energy acceleration with Dark Patch. But it really does need to get those initial three energy into play. It's not like a Blastoise deck where you can just deluge all of your energy at once. It's more of a... Well, we can get a, a little spurt of energy at some point, but then the focus is to keep them in play with Dark Trance, moving the energy off of those damaged Pokemon. So that is going to be uh, our goal here. So I did get hit by a Raiden Knuckle from Thunderous EX, 50 damage to the Verizian EX, and then um, he got a Water Energy onto the Benched Plasma Kyurem. Kyurem, of course, is going to be uh, kind of the big dog in this so sort of a matchup. Um, uh, Blizzard Burn is the big attack. Frost Spear is a good attack as well, but Blizzard Burn is the big one. Where it can knock out Dark Eye in one hit if it does have Silver Bangle or Hypnotoxic Laser. But like I said before, we can kind of prevent the Hypnotoxic Laser with the Blend Energy and Verizian EX. Alright, so here... Um, I go ahead and Junk Hunt. I'm going to take a Max Potion and a Level Ball. Might seem like a few strange cards, but uh, the thought process here is Max Potion is just the card I'm going to need for the rest of the game. Uh, level Ball to get another Dino, because one of the ways I can just get beaten is if my opponent catches out Hydragon, gets those three Deoxys EX in play like we're seeing here, and then um, uses Blizzard Burn to knock out Hydragon, take away, you know, my ability to move my energy around, and I would be in all sorts of trouble. And we do see Hypnotoxic Laser on the active Sableye, and you know, one of the things I could have done is use the Blend Energy on the active Sableye, but I know I am out of Blend Energy. My fourth one is prized, and I really want to conserve it. I want to leave myself the option to use Hydreigon's Dragon Blast attack to do 140. It's your way to really deal with Kyurem immediately. So I wanted to give myself that option. Um, but it came at the cost of opening up Hypnotoxic Laser to my opponent. And that is exactly what happened here. Uh, he was able to laser my Sableye. Then do a Frost Spear for 60. The poison damage finishes it off. Uh, but, you know, it could be worse. I am down two prizes though. And I will have no way to knock out that Kyurem. So I'm just going to go ahead... Dark Patch to my Dark Eye, and then we'll Chorus for 6. I don't really feel like um, playing an end there. Didn't seem like my opponent's hand was too strong. And he's just going to go back to 4 cards. So I'm going to save my end for later in the game. In case something crazy happens. And I fall behind even further. This is a deck that can make some pretty big comebacks. And so I want to save my end for later in the game. Chorus is nice. It can draw you a lot of cards. But in this situation, I think I would prefer to have N. All right, so here I have a decision to make. Uh, I can do two different things. Number one, I could just say, you know what? Let's just Night Spear. Uh, let's hit this Kyurem. I'll probably use the Dark Ride that has no damage on it. And we'll see. There's a Silver Bangle in my opponent's discard pile already. And uh, quite a few lasers as well. So I have to think, what are the odds my opponent will have? Another energy and a silver bangle. There's a four card hand. Is it worth the risk? Uh, I can eliminate Hypnotoxic Laser and Verbank City Gym as a potential solution to knock out my Dark Ride because I will have that 
Blend Energy on the active Darkrai. So really, all my opponent can do is get a Silver Bangle and another energy that provides water to knock out my Darkrai. But this is a very risky move for me. Um, I realize it, but I, I figure at this point, it was either that or I attack with Virizion EX. If I do that, then my opponent can just catch your Hydreigon, and then I'm stuck with no attackers powered up. So it's kind of a lose-lose situation. I play my odds here, and it looks like my opponent has the Silver Bangle. Just a matter, does he draw the energy too? And here is a Professor Juniper. And let's see. Uh, okay, there is the Prism Energy as well. So now we are in loads of trouble. Uh, I am going to lose all of my energy in play. Uh, and not only that, I'm going to lose two prizes, all of my energy, and my last blend energy. So that's going to make my deck fairly one-dimensional for the rest of the game. All I'm going to be able to do is Night Spear for the rest of the game, which isn't bad. I mean, Dark Rye EX is pretty good. Uh, it's won a few tournaments here and there. But uh, it really takes away the flexibility I would have to attack with these other Pokemon. So that's kind of disappointing. But um, we'll see if I can work with it. I do have a Super Rod. I'm going to shuffle in Sableye. Um, I guess uh, a Dark Rye, because I am going to need as many Dark Rye as I can get in this game. And then I could do Shaman EX, because I may need that for a big final attack. And now it's just that terrible situation where, well, I lost all my energy in play. And this is where the High Dragon deck can kind of fail a little bit. Um, it just... If it ever loses all the energy it has in play, it really gets hit hard. And so, all I can really do here is Junk Hunt with Sableye. We can retreat for free with Dark Rise, Dark Cloak. And then, I'm going to play a Tool Scrapper. And I'm actually going to discard both of the Float Stones on my opponent's bench, Deoxys EX. That way, if he has a switch, uh, he can't just switch and retreat freely. Because he will need to move Kirim to the bench. He did use Blizzard Burn. Which means Kiram can't attack next turn. I did end him down to two cards. So I may buy myself a turn of relief here. And I'm going to go ahead and Junk Hunt for a Dark Patch and a Pokemon Catcher. And we'll see what we can do. I mean, it's it's not going to be easy. But um, there, there's definitely an opportunity to start a comeback here. Alright, so what will my opponent do here? Like I said, he cannot attack with the active Kiram this turn. He does have a Hypnotoxic Laser, and this is where running out of Blood Energy will really hurt me. Uh, and he's actually going to retreat into Thunderous EX. Now this is uh, a good and a bad play. He will be able to knock out my Sableye, which is a very good play. The downside to this play is he retreated all three of his energy away. So, um, he loses all the energy he had on that Kiram, but he gets to power up a fresh one that has no damage on it. So, probably not all that bad. And now is a pretty big turn. I can go ahead and Dark Patch. Uh, get a second Darkness Energy into play. Onto my Darkrai EX. And I can play a Pokemon Catcher as well. I can either bring up the Kyurem that has the energy on it. And try to set up for a big play where I get two Night Spears. One to hit the Kyurem and hit it for 90 and hit the other one for 30. And then another one to finish off both of them with Night Spear. Take out both Kyurem at once. Because Thunderous and Deoxys do not scare me at all. I have Max Potion to heal off any little damage those things would do. Deoxys is always going to max out at 100 damage probably. And uh, Thunderous EX takes 4 energy to really do anything. And even if it gets the 4 energy, it's not going to knock me out. So if I can get rid of the Kyurems, I'll be fine. I just need to draw another Dark Patch this turn. And no. <laughs> Uh, looks like that is not going to happen here. I am down 6-1 to one in prizes at this point. It seems kind of unlikely I'll win at this point. But um, we're going to play level ball. I do have two ends left. So I can continue to put my opponent down to one card over and over. Even though my tropical beach is allowing him to refill his hand. But um, you know the clock is ticking. I need to do something. Put up some sort of a fight. I'm going to play level ball here. And probably just going to fail it so I can draw more cards. I don't want to bench anything at this point. I don't want to bench any easy targets for Pokemon Catcher. If he had a Pokemon Catcher, he could just, you know, if I bench a uh, Dino at only a 60 HP, it's not something I want to do. He could just Raid Knuckle or Frost Spear, and I lose. 
So I want to make it as difficult as possible for my opponent to take this final prize. And I'm just going to Tropical Beach, draw two cards, and now I'm feeling like... You know, if he just gets two energy, I pretty much lose. <laughs> uh, if he would just attach Frost Spear, attach Blizzard Burn, and I lose. But he actually attaches to the Benched Kirim, uh, which this is going to give me a big opportunity to perhaps start coming back in this game. Uh, I'm not too sure why he decided to attach to the Bench Kirim in this situation. Uh, seems like the active one was a little bit stronger. So he could maybe threaten a knockout next turn. But uh, it looks like he's favoring powering up the bench one. This is it's kind of playing into my plan, though. Um, I am going to Night Spear the active one. I did get an energy this turn. And there are where my Dark Patches were hiding. <laughs> so I can actually get three energy and play this turn. And we'll go ahead and Dark Patch twice. Attach to the active. Dark Cloak gives a free retreat from Dark Eye. Dark Trance from Hard High Dragon can move the energy up to Dark Eye. This is why this deck is really cool. Lots of great synergy. And then we can Night Sphere for 90, 30 to the Bench Curum. And now you can see this play that I was planning to set up last turn. I'm a turn late. We'll see if it hurts me or not. I can hit the active one, knock it out. Hit the bench one, knock it out as well. And I'll be well on my way to making a comeback here if things go well. And here we just see that Frost Spear for 60 damage to the active Dark Rye. Not very threatening, honestly. Um... I mean, he doesn't really have anything that can threaten a knockout at this point. So we'll see where he hits the 30 damage. Looks like he's going to go to the High Dragon, which is the thing with the least HP, I suppose. Um, and now I can just Night Spear. I'll probably retreat to the other Dark Rye. Move all the energy since it has more HP left. Uh, I have a Max Potion in hand, but I'm kind of waiting to play that. Uh, I'm waiting till a good moment. You know, I don't want just heal off like 30 damage. Uh, I want to heal off when something is in danger of being knocked out for the last prize. So we're going to save that max potion, just retreat to the new Dark Eye. Night Spear for 90 damage. If, uh, if my computer will work with me. All right, here we go. 90 damage to the active, 30 damage to the bench carry. And we get a double knockout, take my first two prizes. Um, I don't know what turn this is, but it's very late into the game and I've finally taken my first two prizes. Let's see, uh, looks like turn 16 that was. <laughs> uh, so like my 8th turn or something like that. And now he's got to send up Thunderous EX. And really he's got nothing going for him. He just has that Deoxys EX. Which, like I said earlier, really doesn't do much against Darkrai. It does 100 at most. Especially when I have Max Potion, it's not going to do very much. And all he can do is Raiden Knuckle. For 60 damage. To my Dark Rye EX. And now this is looking like maybe in three more attacks I can win. You know, three Night Spears I can win. Knock out two more EXs. And somehow make a 6-1 comeback here after it looked like all was lost. Uh, it really looked like I was going to get destroyed this game. But um, somehow, someway, we stuck in it. And now here's where the comeback potential comes from. Uh, I almost attached another energy there. I think at this point, I am actually better off not attaching any more energy. The reason being, if I have too many energy in play, I, I would have to put extra ones somewhere, which means Deoxys EX can Helix Force me. Uh, I have enough energy in play for the rest of the game, so I don't need to worry uh, about any nonsense like that. Um, I, I don't have to worry about losing my energy, because if my energy ever get discarded, well, I've lost, because um, that means my opponent has... Knocked out my Pokemon. <laughs> so there's no reason to attach any more energy here. Uh, here is Hypnotoxic Laser. I believe that's the fourth one for my opponent. That could have been very bad if that were a heads. But it does not look like uh, it was heads there. And now I got a computer search here. We'll see what I can take with this. Um, I'm just... This is mainly a check to see what's left more than anything. Uh, I have a catcher. That's really what I'm going to want. Uh, I decided to grab a dark right here. I wasn't really thinking clearly. I think I should have taken a an N, uh, honestly. And as we can see, there are four hypnotoxic laser and two silver bangle in the discard pile. Sheesh, that's a lot of uh, damage adding stuff. Uh, those items are certainly powerful. 
But yeah, I, I should have taken an N with this. Uh, I'm taking a look now to see. Um, I, I, I grabbed that Dark Ride just to say, you know what, I'm just going to set up a fresh Dark Ride. It doesn't have any uh, special conditions on it. No poison. And I should be able to retreat to it. And Night Spear. But then the thought popped into my head, what if he has an Absol? And if I have four benched Pokemon, he could mind Jack for 120 damage. And then I could potentially lose with a Catcher plus an Absol. Whereas right now, a Catcher plus anything can't really knock me out. A Frost Spear wouldn't do it from Kiram. Um, a Helix Forest from Deoxys wouldn't do it. So uh, I'm really not that worried. But I definitely should have played N. Uh, I should have taken N instead of that Darkrai in this situation. That was pretty silly of me. Uh, now I do have this Professor Juniper. I have eight cards left in my deck. You might be wondering, why in the world am I doing that? Um, and that's because I have... Um, I'm going to take a knockout here. And then next turn, I should be able to just catch her for the win. And in, in the off case, that, or the off chance that I... Um, if something were to happen, like a max potion, I have that N left in my deck anyway, which I don't really have to worry about. Alright, so now uh, I do have this max potion. So I'm going to go ahead and retreat into my dark guy just you know so that weird stuff doesn't happen with verbank city gym uh, and then i don't know maybe like a scramble switch that could pop up and i could potentially be knocked out so we're gonna take uh all the precautions i can here we're dark patching or dark trancing all the energy up to the active and now this six one comeback doesn't seem too unreasonable uh my opponent doesn't have much left this can happen with Plasma quite a bit. I actually got the Blend Energy off of my prizes as well. Uh, but this happens quite a bit with the, the Plasma deck. If your Kyurem that's fully powered just gets knocked out, all of a sudden you're on the back foot. This happens commonly against Blastoise decks, where you just power up a Kyurem, it gets knocked out. Now all of a sudden you're just left with Thunderous and Deoxys, which aren't always the most powerful attackers. And if your opponent keeps putting constant pressure on you, you can end up losing. Uh, so that looks like that's what's happening here. As it looks like my opponent does put down another Kyurem in this situation. Now that Deoxys EX on the bench does have 90 damage on it. Uh, the other Deoxys uh, is clean. The Thunderous is clean. But uh, I do have a Pokemon Catcher in my hand. And even if I don't have a Pokemon Catcher. I have uh, Shaman EX and the Blind Energy. We can use Dark Trance, Power It Up, and Revenge Blast. For 180 damage and win the game. And there is a chorus. So there's no N. And I think. Somehow with this Dark Red High Dragon deck. This deck that just seems to be. Almost outdated. It's a year old. Came out last year. With the release of Dragons Exalted. Uh, he's going to go up against this Team Plasma deck. Down 5 prizes. And it looks like my win is inevitable at this point. Uh, as my opponent does use. Raiden Knuckle for 60. And who could have predicted this? Uh, I certainly thought I was going to lose this game. Uh, by all means. Everything went wrong. At pretty much every stage of the game. But this deck takes advantage of N very, very, very well. As we can see here. And N is the strongest card in the game, I feel. And here we go. I'm just going to catch out Keldeo EX for an exclamation point on this game. Revenge Blast for 360 damage. And Darkrai Hydreigon is going to take down this Team Plasma deck in a very, very long, grinded out game. But uh, it was very interesting, and I learned a lot by playing this game. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll have some more videos for you guys soon. I am Puka from the Top Cut, and I will see you guys next time.